Turtle Program is a community-based turtle track monitoring program. We rely really heavily on volunteers that come to Ningaloo every summer to help us monitor the activities of the turtles on our beaches. So the Ningaloo Coast is a rookery to the green loggerhead and hawksbill turtles and it's one of the main reasons why the area received World Heritage Listing back in 2011, a really strong turtle nesting population here. The Ningaloo Turtle Program has two different types of volunteers. We have our local Exmouth volunteers and then our external volunteers, people we recruit from out of town, from Perth, from all over Australia and even overseas. So we get hundreds of people apply each, each winter to start the following summer. So we recruit 14 leaders that come here for an eight week internship and then a group of 12 external volunteers that come here for five weeks over their summer and they monitor every single day. We put them through an intensive training week to teach them the difference between nests and false crawls and the three species that make the tracks on our beaches. And once they are qualified as competent turtle trackers, they hit the beach every morning and record the data. A day in the life of a typical volunteer involves getting up at the crack of dawn and being dropped off out at their beach by themselves with their backpack and all the equipment they need and then they go for a nice big long walk across a remote stretch of beach. It's hot, it's hard work, um, they get calf muscles of steel but they get a lot of reward from it and collect some fantastic data for our program. Everyone that is a part of our group has loved the experience the same as me so um, I couldn't recommend it enough. I think everything from like getting up in the morning, uh, spending the morning on the beach, monitoring, um, seeing turtles, hatchlings, it's all been pretty incredible and then as well as the other wildlife that you do get to see along the way. When the volunteers return, they all have a roster and they take turns in doing the quality assurance on our data. So making sure it's all been uploaded correctly into the database and then correcting any errors that they come across. It's a really important part of our program is making sure that data is accurate and reliable. I feel really fortunate, you know, as someone from a different country to come across and experience the Ningaloo Reef like this and to be out every single day. Seeing turtles and seeing hatchlings and actually getting the chance to rescue turtles and monitor their nesting habits. It's helped me progress my career and take on an, an even higher managerial role as well as giving me experience in managing all different kinds of people um, and actually getting to know what it's like to run a, a volunteer program like this one. Another component of the Ningaloo Turtle Program is rescuing turtles. Because we have our fabulous volunteers covering 20 kilometres of beach every morning, they do come across turtles that are stuck in the rocks um, that haven't made it back to the water successfully. So we have specialised equipment and training to help these volunteers get these turtles back into the water. So since the program has been running, we have rescued over 330 turtles along the Ningaloo coast, which is something we're very proud of. Greens, loggerheads and hawksbills are all classed as threatened species here in Australia. So any individual that we can save and get back to the water is helping the future generation. A uh, big feature of our program is just building a culture of awareness and stewardship for marine turtle conservation both at Ningaloo and nationwide. The data that the Ningaloo Turtle Program collects is used in multiple ways and for multiple purposes. One of those is to inform local conservation and management initiatives here along the Ningaloo coast. So we can do things like relocate car parks that have been incorrectly placed over 20, 30 years ago before people had that knowledge of how special and important our turtle nesting beaches are. We can also use that data to help inform our introduced predator control programs, such as baiting and trapping for cats and foxes. The data is also used at a population level, so we can determine the number of breeding females that are laying here on the Ningaloo coast. Turtle monitoring programs such as the NTP need to be annual and they need to continue for decades for us to be able to get the data to see what's happening to our turtle populations. Because these animals take so long to reach sexual maturity and breeding size and age, it could be decades before we see the effect of what's happening on our coastline on our populations. So it is important that we continue to monitor into the future.